So is it possible then that you can begin to change your brain waves from beta brain waves to alpha brain waves? Well, back in the 60s and the 70s, when there was a lot of research done on biofeedback, there were researchers at Princeton University that spent enormous amount of time trying to change their brain waves. And over and over again, they were unable to change their brainwave patterns, no matter what they did, whether they chanted, whether they had positive affirmations, whether they burned incense, they did all of these different types of things, relaxing their body, nothing actually changed their brainwaves until one researcher was so tired that he finally said, I give up. And the moment he surrendered and he let go and he gave up, he watched his brain right before his eyes move from beta brainwave patterns to alpha brainwave patterns. Think of alpha when your inner world starts becoming more real than your outer world. Now, most people, when they're functioning in beta brainwave patterns, they naturally shift to alpha brainwave patterns. The brain pauses for a moment and you begin to think about what you're thinking about. And in fact, when I do lectures around the world and I'm watching people pay attention, they're relaxed, their attention is on their outer environment, they're exposed to the information that I'm teaching them, then all of a sudden they stop and they pause and they go like this. And when they stop and they pause, all of a sudden they're making their inner world more real than the outer world and they freeze that image in their brain and the brain begins to consolidate it neurologically. So when you get into the meditative process and you sit your body down and it's not eating, it's not smelling, it's not tasting, it's not feeling, it's not experiencing, you're not seeing, you're not hearing, of course now you're starting to disconnect from your outer environment and now your inner world starts becoming more real than your outer world. And in that state, brain waves in your thinking brain begin to slow down. And when that occurs, you move into alpha brainwave patterns. And alpha brainwave patterns are slower brainwave patterns. Now, what's the significance of this? When you begin to move into alpha from beta, you are beginning to move beyond your analytical mind. And now you're entering the operating system where all those subconscious programs, habits, and behaviors exist. So then in alpha, we tend to no longer hear the voice in our head that's talking to us. And all of a sudden, we start to see in pictures and images. Think of alpha as the imaginary state. Another way to think of alpha is when you're driving down the freeway in your car. Your brain is fixed in a state of trance. You're in that state of alpha. You have no idea how long you've been driving. You have no idea who's been driving the car. You have no attention on anything in your outer world. You're imaging pictures in your mind. And you have to move into alpha in order to do that.